All right. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. Okay. Remember, wear your mask. Um, wear your mask the day of confirmation. So pretty much being that I can't see your wonderful youth in person, um, I'm just going to make this video so this way they can see it. Uh, family members can see it. Your parents can see it. The sponsors can see it. Uh, sponsors are another word for Ninos or Ninas. So this thing has been in the making for a long time. All right. Um, so bear with me. I'm going to put out a lot of information. Um, everyone that's going to have my phone number or my email, if you have any questions, definitely get with me. Um, so Father Paul and I have been planning this thing for a while. Uh, we just presented everything to Father Tom, um, and he likes the plan. Um, he is our pastor, so we needed to get by him. So, Lord willing, everything's going to go as planned. So as of right now, this is what's going to go on. Thanks to Father Paul and the fact that things are what they are, we are going to let the sponsors, the Ninos, the Ninas, be part of the confirmation. It's very important. Whereas originally the plan was they're gonna, we're gonna have the parents fill in as proxies. We're not gonna do that because the plan that we came up with um, is one that's, pre that's presentable, it's doable. So we're gonna definitely do it. So bear with me, I'm gonna put a lot of information. So it might change, so don't kill the messenger. Okay, so keep wearing your mask, get vaccinated, you know, social distancing, all that good stuff, all right? Um, the bishop, got his both vaccinations and he's gonna start doing confirmations. And I think we're gonna be one of the first ones outside. Um, so we're gonna do everything we can to make sure it happens. Uh, set the template for all the other churches. So uh, March 13th at 12 p.m. is the confirmation for your youth. Your youth have come a long way. Um, I and my fellow teachers have worked a long way with them. We've been praying for them and it's, it's time. It's time, you know, God has graced us with the time, it's beautiful weather. So March 13th at 12 p.m., which means your youth will be here at this church at 11 a.m., okay? At 11 a.m., no sooner, no later, 11, 11, 15, more or less, but I will let the youth know. And let me tell you why. Because we're going to put out some instructions on how to do things safely that day. But our bishop, Bishop Weiserberger, God bless his soul, um, he takes pictures with the confirmation kids or the youth. All right. This confirmation is going to be half of my youth and all of Father Paul's adult confirmation. All right. So what's going to happen is he might take the pictures before or after. And this is the way it's going to work. You may not like what I'm about to say, but this is the only way it's going to work. All right. The, the, red, the red cross represents Father uh, Bishop Weisenberger. The picture is going to represent... Uh, this this picture right here, Bishop Weisenberger, your confirmation youth, and the sponsors. Okay, picture. We have 30 confirmation confirmandes that day, so the bishop has to take over 30 photos. All right, these are the only ones allowed to take a picture with the bishop. All right, um, so if you want to throw your abuela in there or your somebody else, it's not going to happen. All right, the bishop doesn't have time for that. He's gracing us with this presence and his time, so that's what we're going to do it. Another thing that you're not going to be too thrilled about, but I'm pretty sure you'll understand. This area right here that I'm about to explain to you is a very sacred area. It's a sacred area where it's going to be part of the ceremony. It's going to be a lot of working parts. So we don't want people in that area taking photos with their iPhones or getting close to people when they shouldn't be so close. So what we're doing is we're bringing in a photographer, a photographer, a professional photographer, because when the bishop actually confirms your youth, you're going to want to make sure that photo is one for a lifetime, all right? Not an out-of-focus picture on your iPhone, all right? So more information on that. There's going to be an era, area that you're not allowed to step into to take pictures. Now, if you're going to stand from way back and, and zoom in, that's fine. But I do not want anybody up there. I don't care who you are. I don't care what age you are. I will shut you down and remove you from it. All right. I already promised Father Tom that I will do that. He said, be nice. Uh, I will be nice. So please. All right. So photographer's coming. So this is the way it's going to work out. The, the, the mass is going to be outside. The ceremony is going to be outside. This is the church. I know you really can't see it, but I'll explain to you. The, the bishop will, if you've ever been to one of our, our outside masses, this is the way it's going to be. 
for that day, the bishop will be up on the altar, all right? Uh, hopefully with one of the deacons uh, or two deacons. The black dots right here represent the confirmandi, your confirmation youth, all right? The first 15 slots, the first 12 slots are adults. So three of my all-stars that I can get to pick are gonna be up front, all right? One of my youth is gonna be uh, reading uh, one of the readings. The second row is gonna be the rest of the youth, all right? No disrespect to them, but that's just the way they are in the adults go there. Now the green dots, I know you probably can't see them, are the sponsors, the Ninos. Now, one thing I did tell uh, both priests here that some of our youth have two sponsors, you know, a Nino and Nina, that's fine. Probably won't do it next year because it's just too many things, too many moving parts. Uh, Father Paul is fine with it because his, some of his adults have two sponsors. So consider yourself very, very lucky. So this area right here is gonna be the area that I'm talking about, very sacred ground. Because what's gonna happen during the ceremony uh, when we ask the sponsors to move up, the sponsor will move up and position themselves behind the, your youth. And as of right now, the bishop is going to be the one moving with the, with, with, uh, the deacon and going to every youth. Okay. Now, when he's done with this row, the sponsors, the adults are going to stand there. They're going to stay there. All right. The other sponsors are already going to be behind the confirmation youth, all right? So the bishop will be walking behind them and confirming everybody here. And then when the bishop comes up onto the altar, we will make the announcement all the sponsors will go back to their chairs, all right? I think it's gonna be more, it's gonna look like the military marching, but it's gonna be safer because all the youth, all the adults gonna be moving at the same time and they're gonna be able to go in opposite directions, all right? Now down over here, this is the wall, all right, on Greasewood. There's going to be a section where we might not have enough chairs. This is for the overflow. Uh, we might have chairs, but here's another overflow, all right? It's a south parking lot, okay? That's where we're asking your family members to bring chairs, all right? Because I don't want anybody standing. You know, if they want to bring their lawn chairs, that's fine. So these are the rules as of right now, and they're probably not going to change. One coffee Monday, which is your youth, all right? One and a half sponsor, one and a half Nino, which means if they have one, that's fine. If they have the two, that's fine, all right? Um, three family members, okay? Three family members to one coffee Monday, all right? Now, if you want to throw your extra abuela uh, into the overflow, that's fine, but these chairs right here, we're going to try to accommodate the families, okay? We have 30, 30 kids that are going to be confirmed and have another 30 in April, all right? Uh, no photos in this area. I'm going to say it over and over again, no photos in this area. We are going to have our own photographer, all right? He will arrange with you on how you can get your chair, your, um, your pictures. There will be communion. There will be communion for all because there's nothing better than sharing communion as a church family and especially with your confirmation youth. Um, we will have donation baskets over by the, the communion. So, you know, drop in your, your uh, donation to help support doing what we're doing. You know, it costs a lot to keep the heat on. Um, but we're going to make it happen. Lord willing, you know, we've been fighting over and over to have this done. And it's going to be done right. Okay. So once again, thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for being so patient. Thank you for praying. All right. We will get your youth confirmed. So one confirmation youth, one and a half sponsors. That means two, three family members. Now, you can play this video over and over and over again. Uh, but don't hesitate. Call me. Call my wife. Um, we're going to make it happen. All right. Lord willing, everything goes well. Stay tuned. Uh, thank you all for your prayers to me. All right. Uh, thank you for the prayers of the church. And remember, keep praying. I look forward to seeing your youth. God bless you. Josito loves you. Moreno loves you as well. We'll see you soon. Out.